Hello, welcome to the video. In this one, the rules are simple-ish. Do the opposite of everything I did in my first playthrough. Make bad decisions and mean dialogue choices. Fail every quick time event. I am not allowed to push any buttons. Lastly, this was a live stream, so there was an option as well that when someone died, we have three lives. There's a rewind feature in the game, and chat got to vote on whether that was used on the character or not. If you want a full, uncut, unedited playthrough with me, that is already on the channel, so go check that out. Please Please do hit like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this in a comment, what ending you got, what other things you've seen which are really fun, and enjoy the video. The jams. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max, we're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. Hey, eyes on the road, mister. Max! Max is getting impatient. Dude, that's so scary. I forgot that that happened. I hate that so much. There we go. Honestly, her head in the back of the car is like... Her just sat there as one of the bloody scariest moments. I feel like he's just kind of shifting his hands around under the trunk and he actually has no idea what he's doing, but he's like, this is probably really attractive right now. Yeah, something came loose here. I'm just going to fix it up. Where are you going? Old ladies Over wandering here? about where they shouldn't be just is... Stay there for a second, okay? I'm so almost done. So unsettling. Defiance. What? You're not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, it better not be. I, I'm sorry. I, I really got to concentrate for a second, okay? okay? Yes. Oh, I hate Look, to do this to you Look, I think there's someone too. down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm going to go check it out. Literally love these two, too. So I was like, so already sad for them. We're not going to have to make them, like, be mean to each other. It's not right. It ain't right. Favorite couple. Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you. Dude, did you just see the little glimpse of her there? I'm sorry, Laura, I can't do it. Amazing. Sorry, girl. You good, you tough, come on. You got this. Oh no. Once again. Everyone's gonna be so clumsy this playthrough. Max! Hey, hey, why are you shouting? What? Ooh. Oh my God. Silence. I don't remember that. What the hell was that? Did that happen in my playthrough? Car. Now. Now. Okay. Did you see it? No, but I heard something. What Walking that? into that tree was very Obi-Wan, to be honest. Bounty Hunter Chase style. Boink. Still, please. What?
What are you doing? Hold. Still. Ma'am. I can take care of myself. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You can return to your vehicle now, ma'am. Do you know what 100% he should have done there was like the mum thing of like licking the cloth first. And then tried to do it. And you're just like, Ugh. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. I go pester Max in the car. I didn't do that last time. Buddy? What you listening to in there? Hey, you ready to roll? Oh, I don't get an option to answer. I like that he's just in there listening to sad music. Probably mumbling to himself, you know. She just doesn't respect me. And it's like, she said she called ahead, but she didn't give me all the information. But she left a voicemail. Now here I am, in the middle of nowhere. Okay, okay, so. Hmm, hammer or wrench? Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. So, someone's trapped. Take your logic and be gone, Maxwell. Wow, that was super loud. I wonder what that's gonna <laughs> cause. You need a hand? Yeah. The fact we're doing like a reverse means I still have to be like on edge because it could change what happens with jumps and scares and stuff. Already had that extra one with the woman behind Max. You've seen the Evil Dead, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Be careful. I'm always careful, baby. Come on. Sit your fine, simple butt down there on the steps. I got this, baby. Oh. You just chill, Max. Don't worry. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... Max? Max! Max! His blood. Help. That attack is just done so well, the shot before. Um, so last time I left, I know that would be like the bad one, but this time we help. Reverse for this, because I don't think it changes anything to be honest. Just want to see it. I gotcha. Wow, she actually gets him out of there. That would actually hurt so much. See the size of that needle? Does this look like- 
like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you! Every little movement, every little thing you do. Like, for that to be the uh, prologue, like, my hype was through the roof. That is such a good opening. See you later, kids! Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever! <laughs> Made us punks. Oh, hey. This is Emma's. Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck you, you spider fuck! So scary, dude. I hate spiders. Well, it's a reverse playthrough. I wouldn't have done- I didn't do this normally, but... Eat it. Straight away, my, my until dawn senses tingled, where I was like, okay, if you're rude to nature, like, the game gets you back. Don't do it. But that doesn't update a path or anything. I w you would have had to drag me kicking and screaming as a kid to go to one, honestly. I ain't going to summer camp. I stay home and play Sega. I'm off school and play Sonic. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're going to have to get used to that. Oh, my God. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, You're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? <laughs> I love that she called him son. Oh. That's so good. These two go, like, way back. Which I didn't get at first. I thought they just knew each other from summer camp, but you find out later that they've been friends since they were, like, little kids. Okay, I'm gonna need you to back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. Well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha! Uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. I mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then she took out the trash. Then she washed her hands. Bye bye, Jake. Now she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Mmm, I'm interested. Lay it on me. Lay, lay it on me. I'm amused and I want to hear more, but also let's go. Oh, should we test that theory? <laughs> but I gotta save some for the ride home. Oh no, I'm I'm sure you'll find some way to fill the awkward. Silence. Uh, yep. Gonna be a super fun, not at all awkward ride. Thanks for that, bud. Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan. Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> so she really just dumped you just like that? Well, technically no, but, you know, she realized that she has her plans, and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't going to work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try, like, long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the, um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? I just, uh, I can't imagine a situation where anyone could ever call themselves Big Dog and get away with it. Um, confident. That's right, because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, no, I've definitely said dumber. Yep. Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you. 
will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Here it comes. Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Yoink. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> it's like, what's interesting to me, and I'm wondering whether it's her having his back right because they go back so far, she never mentions this again. Anytime they're talking about fixing the car and they actually go off to get it she never says like oh if we could find jacob he took the thing like she just she never actually grasses him up um so we did rotor arm before we'll do fuel line this is so awful honestly oh, this looks important like he does grow on me through the game but this is so irredeemable Shit. responsible for everything dude like back up tomorrow okay thank you promise Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, Go don't. Along. Oh, Nick. <gasps> oh. Sorry, bud. <clears throat> oh, come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. <sighs> Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Graham. Oh, thank God. Huh, not a peep. Either got zero signal, or everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh, nah, You 50, know what, 50. whatever, I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean? Does Where she not realize else? that he did that then? Because she, like, she doesn't even that? pick up on it there. That it's sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. It's not like phones cost thousands or anything. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Bag time. So we broke in before, so this time I think we leave them. Um, I mean, breaking in like seems like a worse idea, but this seems like kind of a chance for a reverse play. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. Yeah. Emma. Okay, well, well, fine. I'm just going to do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. You're overreacting team iPhone or Android. I used to have an iPhone and then I've had an Android for a few years now. Um, but like I would go, I've considered going back to Apple just because you get like higher quality, higher quality videos with like um, TikTok and stuff like uploading things. Apps are just better on there for video, but they're so expensive. Like I just, I can't like stomach spending that on it honestly but i consider it sometimes just for that aspect of it oh what was that what was the spooky music what happened 
Did I miss something? Just heard a smeal. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? Never nah, it's messed up that, that she encourages her here and then does what she does later, honestly. Makes it even worse. Uh, oh! Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I don't know what the difference is here, but I'll do. S I don't remember anything. I, we did scenic, but should I just go back? Is this. Does that just like skip scenic? Like, don't they just see the fire? I don't remember anything happening. But I think I'm just gonna do. I guess I'll stick with the rules and go reverse. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. There you go. Emma thinks you're a party Nick pooper, so I guess that's. Leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! <gasps> no! Oh. oh. How did you move? <laughs> did I hit it? Did I hit it? Oh, I hate these rules. Oh, Emma. It's still live. That does not look good. No, dude. I, I have actual trauma from when a squirrel got hit by a car in front of me just like this. When I was a child. Put it out of its misery. You do it. Uh, no, I can't. Abby, it's suffering. Not with a th like, return to cart, kill it. Oh God, help it, I have to help it. Like, can't just leave it. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Wow. Yikes. Well, that's awful. <laughs> when I was a kid, I saw a squirrel. I live, used to live in a block of flats on the main road. Worry, and I saw Jacob, a squirrel get hit by you. a car. I got a full tank of gas. Flip up so. in the air and then came and like ran. Oh, fuck me. And just fell in the grass <laughs> in front of me. And then like I just, st I just like stayed with it and stroked it and then it died. And it's like that stuck with me. I must have been like six or something. And I, oh, just, I still remember it so vividly. Is nobody on phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. Am I going to have to kiss Nick on What's this playthrough? Other way. I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. <laughs> Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to was actually about this place. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I beg if yes. anyone's ever listening to music or something and somebody asks you what you're listening What's to the in the Hag street, Hag use that line, please. You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Oh yeah, it's called Tell Tell her about the business. Hag of Hackett's Quarry. David Arquette honestly seems like like a pretty decent dude, like a cool dude. There's uh there's like a documentary film called You Can't I think it's called You Can't Kill David Arquette, which is about him getting involved with wrestling and stuff, and it's a really good watch, honestly. Yeah. If anyone hasn't seen it and Wants to kill an hour or two with David Arquette. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. That's really an interesting no, conversation. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Wow, that's yeah, juicy. Of course, adios. I listened to the podcast. 
us last time. Sorry, I, I wasn't. Why you uh, could hear listening. him coming? I, I was just like, to the door, Ryan. Ryan. Why did you? I mean, I heard. I, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on. It's sorry I pushed you out like that. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Here we go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm going to have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, thing. no. I am not leaving without... It's the way it's got to be. Come on, Jacob, start her up. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. Right, I've never had try. anyone in my life that I refer to with like dude, I'm telling you, Mr. Right, or busted. Mrs. something well, and then the first wrong. letter and maybe I'm sad about wrong. that. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Mr. H. Shit. Come on. Right, dude, come on. Chill. Chill, Thanks, dude. Thanks, for the sub. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, Holy shit. Everybody back. Now, now, now. Uh -oh. Jacob, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. <laughs> so... God damn it, I said wait! Oh shit! What did you do? What is that? I guess that was like Ryan was gonna pull him back. I like how he thought that little bottle was gonna do anything. This thing is toast. Damn, that's a lot more dramatic than uh, when you just take the arm out. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. <sighs> I guess... Supportive, apprehensive. I think I did apprehensive last time. We go this way. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. Support the party, I guess. All right, yeah. No, party. I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. <laughs> Stern, I made a promise reluctant. Touch his hand, man. Fine. Yes. Touch yes. him. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh my idea. God, dude. Ugh. Uh, Dylan should have like grabbed his hand there, like intertwined his fingers and refused to let go. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. He's like, Nick I never. And Abby, he should have said, "Oh my god." Uh, M and I. That would have been a perfect opportunity for, for a little supplies. foreshadowing line, like I'm never washing and, that uh, hand Dylan, again. You just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my God, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Too slow, sausage boy. Yeah! Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. Honestly, though, why did you stop filming? Because if, like, that's content. Again, all of the good stuff she doesn't film. Okay. Oh, if you don't crush the spider, the spider's not an option. That It makes sense to why I can't remember it. Because I didn't crush it last time. Hmm. Perfecto mundo. Ugh. Now, shall I have oh. it? That would get me. Someone threw that at me if I came around a corner. The clown option's great. Jacob! Though. Emma? Hello? Ugh. 
Like, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. Dun 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 dun. Oh, <laughs> I told you. Oh. Told me what? You were trying to scare me. <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. No, I failed of that. Not. <laughs> oh, oh, and you were doing like a cute little video too. Dude, I am touched. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to try it again? Because I promise this time I will pretend to be extra frightened. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. Got to fail the quick times. An embarrassed Emma. I'll take it. Mm -mm. That's going to be so good. Wonder where this goes. <laughs> Locked. <laughs> Kick it. What you, uh, what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. Staring at the feet for a little bit long there, bud. Done. You just, like, froze and was staring Whoa. at me. <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother of Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder if you kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. It's definitely theft. <laughs> Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> like she just hacked. I'm in. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should- No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah! Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Just steaming up the windows? Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Staring at you? Which way should we go? Ooh, I get to do the different route Why this time. Why don't you choose? We get to take the rocky road. We went to the shady glade. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. They're like burning or whatever. Yeah, I love a good stick. Think we've got enough? Is Abby really short? I think she's short in real life, right? Uh, that, um, she's from Modern Family. Not yet. What's her name? Ariel Winter. I feel like she was short on that show, but then she was literally a child, so I don't know. Ah, a new route. New things to discover. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Mmm, lore. Apparently some of the caves are in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. The dominant rock at the quarry is quartzite. Quartzite's a non-foliated metamorphic rock, which was originally pure quartz. It was previously used in prehistoric times for making stone tools. Pure quartzite is usually white to grey, but can be found in various shades of pink and red, yellow, green, blue, and orange. Ah, oh, some bloody 
info on rocks there. That's dead good, that is. Do you like rocks, Abby? <laughs> Nick, just with, like, no game. Do you, do you like quartzite, girl? Danger falling rocks. I think I'm falling for are you. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. I I'm not afraid of falling rocks. I'm afraid of falling for you, Abby. Too much? Too soon? It's my last day before I go back to Australia. Oh, what if there's a quick time where I have rocks gonna... I have to fail it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Where it goes. Oh, yeah, neither of us are scared, but that's why we're completely silent. We're definitely not absolutely cacking in our pants right now. Shit. It's all right. Calm down. <laughs> Abby, would you think less of me if I did a little poop right now? I'm going to try and do it silently because I'm so scared and I'll just shake it out my trouser leg, but I'll be honest with you, I think a little bit came out when that rock started to fall there. She sees it and she's like, oh, some deer must be nearby or something. Look at this. Oh yeah, don't worry about that. Just let's keep going. There's some bloody poop here. <laughs> Imagine if it was that loud every time you were scared. Oh no. Don't worry about that sound, Abby. It's nothing. I can't believe they didn't have a rock falling. Pedantic. Uncertain. Oh, it's so hard to be mean to these people. I wouldn't call it that exactly. A predetermined future. Oh, the tarot was down Maybe there. The direction yeah. stays the same, but the details change. Like, it changes as you go. You're still in control of your own... Fate? Yeah. Thank you so much for that support, Liv. I, I don't know. It. Seems a little defeatist. No, see, this way I can do whatever I want and not feel bad about it. Within reason. Guess that is a little freeing? In a sociopathic kind of way. <laughs> do you believe in fate, yes or no? Do you believe stuff is fated? Are you a determinist? Is it all just bloody predetermined? Nick trying to get all deep. It's like sometimes, Abby, I wake up and I I have Weedabix, right? And it's like, was I always meant to have those Weedabix? Did every choice that I've made up to that point mean I had Weedabix? Or could I have had porridge like a bar? She's like, right. I can't have a thing for you up to this point, but. Like, I'll pick the blue socks. But was I always gonna pick the blue socks? In another universe, did I pick the green? Yeah, let's go back to the bonfire. I think we have enough sticks now. I think. I'm a bit of a determinist. I do believe in, like, determined... Not necessarily, like, fate, like, destiny, but I believe in predetermination. This view is just... Wow. I think on a very deep level, I don't really believe in free will. It's so cute! I want a pig. I want a pig. It's so tiny. I want some land. I'm gonna keep baby pigs. That's so cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, hold on. I saw someone with a super cute pig on TikTok the other day. Oh, I'm sorry, Abby. I have to leave it this time. Oh. <laughs> I'm 
actually scared to fail some of this stuff? Oh no, like does this count? Do I have to, I think I do, right? I have to, oh no, am I gonna get like, my nose bitten off? What's gonna happen here? Time to find out. <laughs> oh, this slime! Oh. oh, just slime. How are you slimed? <laughs> oh no. Why was a pig slimy? <laughs> <laughs> that thing almost killed me. It could have, to be fair. Awkward. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say there's nothing that Nick can actually do to not get a kiss. Some of the stuff that happens later and then, like, she still wants to kiss him, it's still an option. Like, there's... I feel like he could say anything. Oh, it's bloody awkward now. Silence. Guess we should head back. Oh, this is very different to the other time where it was like a cute little memory. Oh, no. <laughs> if you make a bad decision last time, will you do the opposite? Um, I feel like I'm going to play those by ear if I already did. What was a bad decision... Like, if it was a bad decision that reached an ending I've already seen, then I'm gonna keep it going to get a different ending, I think. So, like, something like with Max, I'll just do the, other, the opposite. That's, like, something that's very clear-cut like that. Finally get my phone back, and it's just a big, dumb brick. Or we're going Dare. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your Dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> And I dare you to kiss either Caitlyn or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. I mean, do what you want, Ryan. Sorry, I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay, let's do this. <gasps> it's a choice? Oh my God, guys, who should I pick? One for Caitlyn, two for Dylan. Who should we kiss? I heard there was like a spin the bottle. I didn't realize we were going to get a straight up choice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's going that way. Had to, let's Dylan, be honest. Let's go. It was never going to go any other way. <laughs> Always happy to please. Yo, Dylan, get in there. What was that? Was a <laughs> Dylan, that was adorable, but also, like, go for it, you know? Oh, he's so cute. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Man, I thought oh, they were gonna, like, uh, proper kiss, 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 kiss. Yet. Good point. Ah, uh, Dylan, like, deserves that after the run that I gave him on the last game, honestly. Like, full big time. <laughs> like, this is, like, multiverse. Uh, like, Dylan having what he deserved. Wait, what is this choice? Who's next to, like, choose? I think I did Jacob last time. Um, maybe we go Kate. I can't- did I do Jacob? Does anyone remember? Oh, I can't remember what was... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I did Caitlyn? Okay. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there. There, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Why are you so excited this for thing? this? I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no. Jacob. Wait. Wow, filming Don't it. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're gonna fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man. I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, veto. You know what? Fuck this game. All right. <clears throat> Someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Oh, do we get the kiss anyway? 
Emma. He was there. so excited to jump over the thing naked. Emma, so you have to kiss. This is so awful, honestly. Like, this made me legit Jacob? feel so bad. Or... Oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well, then. Um, uh, sorry. Nick, this is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. Oh, I don't know, but, you know. I choose Nick. Sh shocker. It's so mean! It's so mean. Like, yeah. forget Jacob, it's so mean Seriously? to her friend, like, to Abby. Guys. Right? It's like... Guys! Eesh, so irredeemable for Emma. Thank you, Nick. Oh, I'm looking a bit sheepish after that one. I definitely kissed you back, but now I'm going to pretend like it was a bit awkward for me. I don't know. He's good. She's like, whatever. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's girlfriend. <laughs> the fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob. Grow up. Jacob would literally be like, I was gonna jump over the fire naked, well, I and if I, I did, this wouldn't have happened. Go after him. You should probably go find Abby. It's so mean. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? Like, it feels super calculated on Emma's part. Like, it feels so wrong. The devil's gonna come when the sun go down. God damn. The devil's gonna come oh, goodness. Gotta watch all these goddamn kids having kisses down there. Sorry that one boy kissed that other boy. Kinda liked it, to be honest with you. Oh, well. Back into the woods, I go. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards. Sorry, babe. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? For a hot cocoa or something? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. I was, uh, I was kind of worried That's when I picked I Jacob there and you guys now. reminded me that it was Secrets the Caitlyn choice was the kiss that we weren't going to get that because I feel like it's really important for I'll character development. Again, you can count on but obviously they feel that way too because they just force it on you. Where the wolves go, the ravens Because it's what is the catalyst to send them off into the woods. Yeah, the grow up was super harsh. Reminds me of um, at the beginning when Laura's like, come on, Max, don't be a dick. And it's like, he's being so sensible and nice. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. It's stupid. It's stupid. Heartfelt romantic music plays softly. Sorry. The smoke, you know, from the fire. I just needed some air. And it totally got in my eyes. That's yeah, why I'm I know crying. What you mean. Smoke can get pretty intense, huh? You didn't have to run away, though. Going the opposite way. So. I picked such good options there. the first playthrough. It's oh just making gosh. this so painful. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. Gosh, she's I a bitch. was just playing along. Nah, but he just, yeah. like, gives her the fire. It's just a game, right? Gosh, she's evil. Right. Nick. Don't make excuses for her. Kiss! Oh, has to be done. 
Kiss those traitorous lips of his, eh? Filth! You don't deserve this, Nick. I hope you know that. At all, buddy. You didn't earn it, nor do you deserve it. Nick is falling for you. I mean, okay, that's right, it's fine. If it's actual love, I guess. Mm -hmm. Should we look? Mm -hmm. Definitely not. Oh, God. Here it comes. Sprinting back to the bonfire at this point. If I heard, like, off in the woods somewhere, I'd be like, um, time to leave. Is it another boar? It's too growly. towards it is the real question. Run! He's like, see ya. I'm out of here. Abandoned Nick. Oops. Oh, oh. Shit, 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 shit. Hide or run? Oh no, hide. Ah, oh, so that's where this shot comes from. In that instance, I'm pretty sure climbing the tree is a bad idea, but we did it last time. Since you end up falling out of it onto your ass. You still end up here, though. Oh my gosh. They're actually so scary. She got a nibble. She got a nibble this time. That's not good. I like actually feel sorry for him in this scene though. Looks like a great spot to sit and have a cry, doesn't it? Hey, that's mine! Yeah, well, finders keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. Why would you even want it after that, honestly? Chuck it off, Jacob! 
I mean, you're both terrible Fine. people, but I feel like Jacob you is can less stand terrible here, in sulking, some weird way, even though he sabotaged the car. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Oh, or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, a well, a well, a well, a well, uh. white. Some eleven. Okay. Okay. Shimp. Like the fact there's no option for him to stand up for himself. He's just like, okay, I'll go get some towels. Huh? After you just kissed a little boy in front of me and mocked me and broke me heart. That's my that's my reaction to Jacob. Jacob's okay. I'm just like, boop. Mouth open, hands up. Huh? <laughs> You're crazy, crazy girl. She is so mean though, right? Like, actually so mean. Like, I can't work out who's worse because Jacob sabotaging the car is legit very like toxic's not the right word it's just the wrong thing to do to cause the whole thing anyway but she's like check really it mean. and sack it huh? like he's not oh, mean well, he's just check it dumb. must mean mr h chris hackett who the hell is thackett the fact that that kid in this picture literally looks like the uh grown up though do you know what I mean? It's almost like if you're dumb and do something, and I don't mean like dumb in like a bad way, but like dumb like he really just doesn't think. And he he dumb dumb. And then it's like, um she's like smart, but she's like spiteful. Like she actually knows what she's doing and does it to be mean. That's like worse to me than just being sort of an unthinking goober. Yeah, we'll see about that. I can't believe you can't check the fridge. Like, there should totally be something creepy in there, some old meat or something. Yeah, I love Travis Hackett. I think super underrated character, because he's not playable. I don't think he really comes up on people's lists of best characters, but he's awesome. Zero. You dick. What the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Yeah, like somewhere in his head, he he literally thought if we just have one more night of partying together, she'll like fall back in love with me. And as absolutely wrong as it is, hmm. it's not really with ill intent oh, it's not right. like a conscious manipulation on his part if that makes sense it's literally he just thinks in some airheaded way like oh, we'll just all party again and everything will be fine you know i was totally expecting the huge oh Someone up there? Did I? Well, maybe I did, but I didn't see it quite so closely. That was legit yeah, I'm the go werewolf. With probably everything's fine. The monster was up there. I don't know if I saw that last time. Jeez, that was like proper Nosferatu going past the window. Mm -mm. He did say he doesn't really know care what she wants. Yeah, he's definitely like a terrible boyfriend and like unthinking dude, you know? Like, neither of them good people, but with completely different ways in that he just has no clue. And I think she does have a clue, but she chooses to be how she be. But, um, doesn't make up for it. Totally doesn't make up for his behavior, like, at all. It's just interesting, the, like, motivations of the characters, you know? <gasps> bow, 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 bow. Don't, down, and ow. Do a little slow pan, Jacob. Here you go. Cinematic for you. He's like, huh? What a... 
What are those there doing? What be those clothes there? Doesn't react. Alright, dude. <laughs> like, there should totally be a little voice over there. Little cartoon bulgy eyes. He's like... Burr, burr, burr. Like, people know, I I kind of usually end up rooting for, like, the bitchy smart girls. Um, Emily Until Dawn, best character, saves the day. Won't hear anything said against her, but... Emma? Bad person. <laughs> like, just... Can't do it. Huh. It's not long ago. Do you think they would be a good couple if they actually, like, just got together and, like, lived somewhere? Like, do you think their dynamic actually matches up? <laughs> Dick move. She did not appreciate that. Look, I don't want this to end. <laughs> I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little clean. Oh, you know what I mean, like... Sentimental this. Jacob. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be the summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? That's definitely how what she's that? looking for. Right. Hey! Where you going? Come on! You blew it. Wow, no one thinks they would get on. I could kind of see it, honestly. Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? what seriously? Yeah, because, like, the option I did, that never happened. He never said anything to her. I feel like he just ran away. And then later he was being like, oh, I told her I'd come back. And in my mind, I was like, no, you didn't. Heroic running music for Ryan. Running with the gun on his back. He's gonna take a shortcut. And he's gonna fail every quick time. Sorry, Ryan. Whoops. And suddenly it turns into not a shortcut. shotguns have a safety because it feels like running with that thing on your back and slipping all over the place is like a terrible idea <laughs> oh who was that i didn't realize there was someone there in the bush could i have just blasted nick if i shot the bush was he gonna die Uh, 
That'd be really good for your back. Big boy. Oh, come on. Who the fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> if you hadn't seen the monsters by this point, a bitch. you would definitely be feeling like, oh my god, they're hunting them. I feel like it was really clear early what are you doing? Shh. Quiet. that you're supposed to trust them. But this the dumb decision playthrough. So we don't get jam. The treehouse, be sure and hit that like and subscribe. Leave a comment under this video. Should I have gone up to the treehouse? It's Emmy Emmy's Vlogs 001 on YouTube. Come back for more adventures on a spooky island. <laughs> she just never passed it again, it's dead weird. Thank you, Jacob. Can you talk about what happened if we shot Jacob? Yes, go for it. The Magic Ian. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. This bit's legit insane. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Like, why... If you heard that up in the creepy trap door, like, I just, what, what type of person is like brave about it like that and crazy? Well, searched the bag last time, so. Here we go. Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Actually gonna die. Actually gonna die. Wow, that was a terrible choice. Well, one down. Emma died. Do you want to try and save her? You've got three lives remaining. Okay, okay. This is a fun extra twist. Um, would you like to save Emma? Let's throw a new rule in. We have three lives. I'm going to be failing QTEs. I'm going to be making the choices I didn't make. Um, do we want to see more Emma on this playthrough? Do we want to keep her alive through this? Get her back to Jacob? Maybe have some of those scenes? What do you think? We've got three lives. The choice is yours. It's like Big Brother, guys. Um, thank you, Phoebe, for the 100 biddies. I appreciate it. Rum pum pum pum. I don't know if I see a single yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was kind of hoping to get some of her scenes, but the people have spoken.
You are the something to eat, by. You and I are gonna find a landline. Munch? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Oh my god, did you guys just see the hag in the background there? Whoa, I didn't spot that last time. She was like on the stairs with her face lit up. That was freaky. Jam. I guess I have to fail all these. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh god. Oh, I'm sorry, Caitlin. Ouch. missing a finger even though we didn't see that. Oh wow, they still escape. Suki is mine. Okay, so maybe sort of just want to I fail was a little nervous ones, when but... I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean people kind of enjoyed the blase Dylan. I love this scene. And do do you enjoy the blase, Dylan? <laughs> Not yet. Like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan, Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan, Dylan. I'm Ryan, Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Like Dylan admitting that all of his wisecracks that kind of make you maybe not like him so much in the first half are uh, his kind of, well, people seem to like it and like out of here, I'm actually just a big nerd. It's like so cute. Oh well, look, Caitlyn's the top of the shooting stars. Caitlyn, Jaden, Chesney, Sharpe, Diesel, Ryan, Brooklyn, Jai, Idris, Kristen. He probably wants some traps about Diesel. 100% went to camp, convinced everyone their name was Diesel, and it's actually like Franklin or Penelope or something. <laughs> yeah. She's a little kid in sunglasses. Uh, my name's Diesel. Yeah, my dad's Vin, actually. From uh, the very fast and very furious movies. Hmm, not sure those are what it's called. Yeah, it is. Because my name's Diesel, actually. I go by Diesel. Those nuts. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us. Um, which is not good and a few of our friends are hurt and um, we are in desperate need of help So please I mean, there's vicious bears and uh, We bears. don't know what to do. So please uh, Come help us SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency S save our ship. Come on down. Please help us That's So good Yeah, I do good. Was that swarm of bears? Yeah Herd of bears yeah, I've heard of bears. But... <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I, I guess I should just like switch this over yeah, to see if we every time. get anything yeah. back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. But it is of course okay, neither, because yeah, sure. it is a sleuth or a sloth. Of bars, isn't it? There he is.
Munch. Munchy boy. You totally don't see that it's like the white one though, that they say it like, later. He's like, oh yeah, I saw the white one, but you totally don't see that. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Like, why did you not warn him? Why didn't you tell me this? Exactly. Like, at this point, I was so doubting Ryan, like, massively. Fuck you! I, I, I didn't know what I saw! But you saw something, and you didn't think that you should fucking tell me? I forgot! I mean, the, I, the guys came on the radio! Uh, Ryan? More root stomping. If you could only pick one person to survive this whole thing, who would you pick? I don't think bears can jump like that. Out of the councils, I guess. Bad decision? Bad decision. What is that, Brian? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, get into a cabin now. Go! go. Oh, bro. oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Yeah, like, everyone pretty much picked Dylan, Caitlin, or Abby. Like, anyone said anyone else? Uh, well, we gotta... Do something, come on. Well, I choose Max, okay? Um, aggression. Aggression. We gotta kill it. That's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. You're smart, Dylan. Mm, do you have a better idea? Got a better idea? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. And I mean, it would hurt like hell. But okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um. Come on. It's almost so creepy looking out of windows like that. Come on, hurry, let's go. Everything is right. I did everything right. Oh, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Because oh, oh, we didn't open the door. <laughs> Because the door wasn't kicked open. Oh shit! This is the big bad. It's attacking the cabins. The worst of the bunch. Oh crap! It knocked out the wire. Okay, uh, fix it. I'll cover you. Like going out there with that thing, Ryan. What are you thinking? Crazy. Crazy decisions they make. Hey, 
is a bad idea. If ever I saw one. Where you at? Where you at? Saved. I like that. Dylan saved Ryan. Dylan's the hero. Is it safe? And he kept his hand. Which is very cool. Um, reassuring. I think I did the other one last time. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Two hands! Chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. I love if I would love right. it if there was like a little knowing nod to it where he's like, this guy with two thumbs and like points at himself for like no reason. What the hell was going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so... Jesus. Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Oh yeah, she's back. Who's there? Totally forgot this time she shows up. Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> yeah, there's no way that character doesn't die. <laughs> A body in the swimming pool. Floating up but first in the swimming pool. It's really shocking. Scary. Get out of there, Jacob. Whoa. Oh no. Okay, where are we going? Which way are we going? Which way are we going? I feel like you might just want to drop into the water and go down to the lake or something. to go. Alright, it's over to you, dear viewer, dearest viewer. Do we use a life and bring Jacob back from that death for a possible future one? Or is that how his story ends? Munched under a bridge, down into the water? What say you? Yes, use a life. No. Is Baba Jacob? What do you think? Mm -mm. I mean, it's pretty much like he's still going to die. Like, it's just going to be a different death. So it depends how you want to see him. <laughs> Which is, when you think about it, 
I'm surprised you didn't bring Emma back when you had the opportunity just to have her die in a different way and enjoy her dying. So, you know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Another death. Another death. So wait, you gotta lift this time. Watch it be literally the next scene. Yeah, I would I would have liked to have seen other Emma deaths or even werewolf, but in your hands. It's literally just going to be the next thing, isn't it? Hide run. Um, I think I hid last time. Sure. Oh boy. Let's wake up. Oh, bad idea. Oh, 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 he got bit though. Right? I think he got bit. Little nibble, little nibble on the tum tum. Which I think is like, this happens because you don't have the blood masking your scent from the first playthrough. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Uh, mm, rational, doesn't really matter. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Bum, bum, bum. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Good Nick. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. It's like, it's not the time, babe. Okay, you're not allowed to intervene, did it last time. Why would anyone want to shoot Kaylee? Yo, why is the water splashing? Should we call someone or oh, fuck Chris? How are we gonna tell Chris? Nick, what do you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? So forward. Uh, get off. Oh, watch out! I said get off. Oh my god, he's allergic to water. Uh, I do the opposite of last time. I got him. Undeserved help, Nick. What did I do? I guess you gotta be like properly bit then, because Abby, didn't I, she get like nibbled? But she's not showing any signs of changing. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Well, I feel like we did get pinned down and bit on. I only hung out with you because you seem so desperate. So rude. Poor, pathetic little Abby, ready to throw us off at the first guy that came along. Easy pickings. Yikes. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this, this isn't you. I... <gasps> Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. He looks super scary in this scene. He looks nuts. Oh, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Abby. Oh, it's so hard not to shoot. transform is crazy. Wow. That was a brutal one. Damn. Dude, that was crazy. Her head came off. Her head went flying. Um, I guess you got two lives left. Do you want to bring her back for another failed event? We're seeing them. We're seeing them. Jeez. Don't no, no. Yes for use a heart. No for that's it. That's the end. I feel like it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good end to Abby, honestly. But the choice is yours. The, th the hearts are there to be used. There to be used. Abby. It's such a sad ending for her, honestly, to be killed by him. I tried to warn you the whole time, girl. You can do better. Wow, loads of nose. I, I agree with you, honestly. I feel like that's where her story should end. God, it's so... Oh. You proper see... That pop out and like the spurt, you know. So gorgeous. Fuck! He must have like proper just caught it on his core and just, you know. That sucker ran right out. So much for depth perception. How long until you look at yourself though and you go, you know what though, I'm kind of rocking it. That bastard cop's hiding. I'm gonna take some sick selfies with this. Max. Max. <laughs> What's that running on a toaster? Jesus. You heard this shit? We gotta shut it down. Can you handle it? Oh, it's the podcast. Hikers at all but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're we're more like um ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire is a good during name for a podcast. night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. Ugh. 
it. Oh. Sure, I'm up. Ghost in the machine. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. The fact the hag is like, don't listen to that podcast. Don't listen to that shit. <laughs> Pops up on your screen. That's like an old school uh, like jump scare. Like when people used to send those gifts and be like, get close to the screen, look at the maze, can you work it out? Bleep. They mention my baby boy. Turn that off. Weirdly, she does the same thing when you listen to Joe Rogan. It's very odd. They did just add them to The Sims though, didn't they? We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. We're a team now. So, how is your family involved? My family. Is down at the bottom of a well. The sheriff starts to ease up. What? Enemies Family to is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well with a rope? He's the one I... not toxic family member. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Let's forget it. He's like, imagine being me at Christmas time, okay? Goddamn nightmare. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Yeah, oh, poor Travis. Read it. Fantastic character, honestly. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, stalks armed with breath. silver, That's why you hold your breath. and the first. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Take gun. I mean, that sounds like a pretty bad decision to me. Oh, I'm so sorry, Travis. I don't know if I'm going to get... This was a mistake. Wait. I wanted to trust you. Give it here. Is that really me? Give it here! I think I hurt his feelings. Shit! Did you try to take his gun? No! Maybe a little? It was just sitting there, I had to try. Laura! Max, what did you expect me to do? He was finally opening up to you. What did he show you? Just some shit old poem. Sounds legit. I feel like you would kind hey, of want to cure hey. yourself of being a werewolf. Help her! 
Lord needs help. If I was a vampire, I'd be like, hey, this is so bad. But like, well, Laura? Nah. Laura, are you okay? You'd want to change Laura? back to me. God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura? Bum, bum, bum. I hope this isn't a quick time event because oh no, I'm so oh god. Oh no, judo chop. Oh, judo grab. Up, uh, get up. You're in trouble now. You picked the wrong night to fuck with me, kids. Oh my god. God. Now look what you've done. No. Does he actually die here? Wow. Wow. I was not expecting that. Oh my god. He's actually going to die. Yo, don't pop him in the face. Let him... Oh, shit. No. Wow. Laura? Laura? Damn. I wasn't expecting that at all. I never knew you had it in you. What, to murder someone? Yeah, you did. You just murdered a police officer, Max. Damn. Wow, he looks so... What should we do about Sergeant Little Dick? Have some respect! The man's dead! Oh, no, he's not. Let's he's give alive. him some alone time. Oh. Let him think about why he's in here. Okay. Travis will kill you. Definitely, like, leaving someone bleeding out. I don't know if, like, calling them little dick is the way to go. Seems a bit rude, you know? We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Yeah, I really like his character. Between, like, not having that be a team-up and it? also being mean to Max is, like, probably the hardest things someone. from this playthrough, honestly. Someone thinks he... No, I, I still can. I guess we'll be commanding. I said shut up. You've done enough talking. Okay, so you talk. Say what you gotta say. You, Ryan, maybe this is a bit much. I mean, just think about everything that's happened tonight. I do love seeing Dylan with both of his hands, though. I'm not letting her kill Chris. No way. Not, not over some old-timey poem. He said, covered in the blood of his friends. Friend and tell yes, him it's just tell a him, poem? Laura. Literally. Get kidnapped? Thrown in a cell? Have two months of your life ripped away and then tell me it's all just a poem? Helplessly watch someone you care about burst out of their skin, watch them try to kill you twice, then tell me that what I'm trying to do, what I need to do, is based on a fucking poem? One way or another, this ends tonight. If you're gonna shoot me, fucking shoot me. If you wanna stop me... Sound insert. Um... Pull trigger? Huh? I mean, that sounds like a bad decision. I don't really want to see what happens. Oh my god, he was gonna do it. Oh. Oh. Dickhole? Yeah, what a... Oh. What a urethra. Eh? So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. Mean. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Real mature. He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. 
Yeah, character-wise, Ryan takes a real nosedive in the uh, I think second half, like, in a very odd way. Dude! What? Because it doesn't even come off like it's him caring about the Hackett's or Chris or anything. It just comes off really weird. You're just like, huh? But you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. It's a weird fantasy. Weird fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Going with the... It's very specific and odd. That's never occurred to me, Caitlin. I'll be honest. Whatever. I won't open up about my vibrant fantasy life anymore. Is that that's what's going on in your vibrant fantasy life? I don't even remember her saying that, that last time. It's pretty weird. Okay, it's no weirder than this situation. Yeah, I guess there are comparisons that could be made. <sighs> I, I, I can't stop picturing what happened to Abby and... Fuck. Oh, let's just get the van up and running, okay? Yeah. When you save Dylan's hand, but you know what's like gonna come here, I'm sorry, I like can't even do any quick times or anything. No one's making it. Hate it. What? Let's see what the damage is. If Emma's alive, she's in there. But not this time. Not this playthrough. Well, fix or no fix? Okay. So the engine's completely screwed. Oh yeah, I wonder what we're gonna do, actually. More great news. Do we not go to the I scrapyard? Mean, if I could summon a working car out of thin air, I would. Wait, maybe I can. Uh, okay, we're she's gone nuts. Look for a There's a scrapyard up the road. If we're looking for a vehicle, maybe there's one there? Okay. Bum, bum, bum. So here's the question. In there, right, like, she... Where are we going now? I feel like I'm going to stop her because I didn't do it last time. <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh, Jesus! Sure, nobody else. That did. That would not make enough noise for you to hear it, Travis. No. Unless you got werewolf ears. I think we're okay. I don't think anyone heard us. Heard you? Ah, oh, my coccyx. Open cage. Seems like a terrible idea. Wait, Ryan, don't. Oh yeah, I did that last time. Jeez, man, what are you doing to him down there? Well, there's nothing. We're just keeping him safe, just like we've been trying to do all damn night. What, what was that? Fucking hilarious. Shut up. Look, you gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma. Uh. <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. God damn. No. No, no. Music's great. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit! Not my little Kaylee! God damn you!
you? What did you do to her? Dun, 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 dun. Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Okay, so I gotta stop you this time because it's the reverse. Reverse override. Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? Because we She's didn't do that charge. last time. I want to see what happens. I've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay, they said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. You promised. Okay. Fine. Seriously, man. They took it. They took it. You fucking idiot. Ma. God, Leave Travis it. alone. You fucking piece of shit. Get away. Get away from me. You can see why he kind of wants to be done with this, really. Help Jacob leave Jacob. Hmm. Well, it feels like the bad decision would be to leave you, Jacob. I'm really sorry. I actually really want to help you and see what happens, but it's a bad decision playthrough. You're better off down here. What? I'm sorry. sorry man. No, 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 dude, come on. We'll come back for you. Well, shut the fuck you out, Ryan. Please, Ryan, please do it. Okay? You don't know what they'll do to me. Come on. Let me out, you can't let me down here. Man, it goes against all of Fuck! It goes against all of my urges so Jesus hard. Christ. Yeah. Jacob doesn't like you. Well. Not my god, god not, not my only granddaughter. Oh, she's still banging on about it. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Like a stuck record, this one. What? So, you... You had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains... Ma, I've got a mouth on her, huh? You, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you were telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my God, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self if I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer. Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. Wow. Now I'm blind. Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. Don't ma me. Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. Poor Travis. Yes. How do you not hear the right, right. <laughs> Ma, send Bobby down. Send Bobby down again. Her beauty is a tiger. Yeah, she's great. Someone made a really good point in, uh, I think it was a YouTube comment on my playthrough, where they were like, isn't it weird how it, like, you sort of feel like this character must have 
you know, to be like the hag. She must have died 50 years ago, 100 years ago, in the old days, in the freak show fire. And then it's like, that happened six years ago, and this is present day. You're like, huh? There was a freak show like six years ago? Like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Some old-timey freak show with, like, barred cages on wheels and stuff, like, dun, 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 just, like, marching into town, and it was, like, would have been, like, what? 2017? Makes no sense. I'm the hag of Hackers Quarry. Oh, jeez. When were you around? Like, 1860? 2017, I died. I had an iPhone 8. Sorry? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just... I was around in the age of YouTube and... This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. Netflix. Main road is another what? Mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much about I was gonna make a documentary on my so boy's house. it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest... whatever? Yeah. Shouldn't you have been on, like, talk shows or something, oh, rather that? than traipsing him around in a cage as a freak show? Okay. Oh, we ain't got time for that kind of business. Cross so, my pan with silver. Laura. Yeah, we use dollars now. Oh boy. Uh, annoyed, curious. I guess we'll do all the unfriendly stuff. Yeah, he was being kind of a jerk, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. She did say she had a boyfriend, though. Well, maybe he tuned that part out of her story. <laughs> Probably. Probably thinking about how he can sneak off and be all brooding under a stairway while he works on his abs. What a jerk. What a jerk. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. This is like the silliest scene. Like, they take the time to do that and then it's like, Oh my god, I'm in the dark. I can't see nothing now. Oh god, where did they go? Pitch black. Definitely not standing in the exact same space. Uh-oh. Gotcha. You did to my Kaylee. Okay, here's a dilemma. Do I, do I, do I pull the trigger? Because that would be a bad idea, right? But also, I did that. So what trumps it here? The reverse or the bad decision? Pull or no? What do you think? Because it would be the opposite. But it's also bad. I don't know. It's like tough. What say ye? What say ye? Reversing, reversing, trumping it. Okay. Get the fuck off me! Dream. You ain't hurting us anymore. It's honestly so you shocking. Like, 100% go check out Everybody the stop. first playthrough to see that, because it is like, oh my god. The, the, what we did on the first Murderous playthrough with that is Shut insane. the fuck up! That ain't no way to be talking to your mother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know my place, yes, sir. Put me down, asshole! What the hell is going on up here? We ain't keeping them safe anymore, Bobby. You got Not him. after what they did to our Kaylee. Run, distract. Um... I think I did distract last time. This time we're running. Why? Damn. Is that it? That's so painful. God, that would hurt so bad. Even walking. Uh, thank you for the resub, Eddie and A. Appreciate it. Thanks for using the prime. Fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. Uh, okay. All right, that's not good. A good old dumb waiter. Oh. Seems like a pretty bad decision to pull it out. Oh, I don't like doing this to you, I'm sorry. Fuck! Oh, okay. Oh. 
Although I will say on the uh, on the playthrough, I was like, yo, leave it in because it will plug it. And then people had really good points in the comments where they were like, a knife's not really thick enough to plug it. Like, it's so thin it is going to still just bleed out around it. It's not like an arrow or something. But I still feel like you should kind of, if you're still, you should leave stuff in. Because you might do more damage pulling it out, you know? Stay put, don't move. Street fighting tips with more. <laughs> Listen, I've been in more fights than you've had dinners. If you ever get stabbed, right? What you do is you sit down, you don't move, leave it in. Do not move. You announce that you have been stabbed. Shout, stay away from me. Do not be alarmed. Sensei Bear here with more hot tips. Oh, the death card. What do you think's in here? Oh, it's so gross. Oh, oh, God. Actually, probably the grossest thing in the game that is rank. Like a little bloody croissant in there. A giant chocolate croissant. Um, anything else over here? We're looking peaky, aren't we? We are bleeding. Anytime anyone puts their eye to anything or their ear to anything, I just expect like a knife or something through it to get them. I'm just like traumatized from that scene in Scream. It's just that's where my mind goes every time anyone puts their head to anything. I'm just like, oh, here it goes. Knife through the wall. the opposite, block the door this time. Probably do a really awful job of it. That's not how you block a door at all. Chase you, pig boy. Hey. Oh, I love how we're just getting thrown through all of the doors this time. Your words, dude. <sighs> Got the bastard. That's kind of cooler than the slinking around version, though. That whole section kind of reminds me of Detroit when you're sneaking around the house with the weird, like, doll guy that has all the droid, like, the androids around. What the? Healed up. As if they would just leave her there. That seems so strange. They make some horrible decisions, these Hackets, don't they? I mean, to be fair, they are just some family out in the middle of nowhere that was running a summer camp. Like, they do not... They are not equipped to deal with this at all, and they clearly haven't learned how to deal with it in the last six years that they've been doing so. 
Mmm, ice cream. Nice, man. You guys got a whole ice. You guys got a whole ice cream freezer in your kitchen. Like it's a like supermarket. Damn, how much ice cream do you guys eat? Jealous. This is a big kitchen. It's like a dream kitchen. Look at the size of this island. And it's so tall. It's like as tall as me. You want to be a bit smaller than that, but... Like, look at all... The, how many sides do you need? Jesus. Biggest kitchen I've ever seen. I feel like a borrower in here. Oh, what was this? It's also utterly insane that they didn't have Kaylee and Caleb locked up for the full moon. Like, where, like I don't... I don't know if there's an answer to that anywhere in the game, but it's like, what were you thinking? Do that. Who is that? It's so dark, I can't see anything. Is that Kaylee? Oh, what's this? A weight room? This must be Bobby's room, right? Big Bobby lifting these weights. What's the poster he has? The Nature of Evil. A videotape, some bottles. It's a lot of... Those scrunched up tissues flowing everywhere around here. It's pretty bad allergies, I think. for the hag out there. That was interesting. A little Easter egg, I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, why does he do that? How to darling. Uh. Like, sir, calm down. I thought you were shot. Like we're playing hide and seek. I got better. She's infected. It's just bit. Well. Oh, you're gonna shoot me again? That worked so well for you last time. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> hey. I, you know, I might not have enough silver to kill you, but I could sure make you suffer. It's gonna bother me so much that I have to fail at this. Dude. Youch. You good there, old timer? Jeez. Travis, get your ass up here. We need silver for this one. Travis? Where the hell is he? He doesn't love you anymore, Ma. Sorry, Laura. So sorry. You're on your own. That is a big knife. Kiss me. Oh shit. What's your position? Don't let her run, Jed. Cut her down. might be what happens here. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, is he not going to eat you? Oh. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. So he is bit. He must be. There's no way. Otherwise, why would he not eat him?
Oh, Jacob's alive. She can see in the dark. She's one of them. Where are you? Like how? I'm gonna enjoy watching you die, girl. Did you not eat your carrots? Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! People Take her head off, Travis. Try up, become invisible in She's the darkness. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, fill her with silver, son. Come on, Travis. Remember all those good times? When I shot you? Wait! Uh. Shoot him! <laughs> so bad. All three of you are awful, okay? Oh, good. You're awake. I thought I could feel your breath on my cheek, but I wasn't sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill you yet. I usually gotta wait until I'm told. No. No. You wait right here. I'm gonna ask my dad. Dad? Dad, are you there? Bobby? Travis, where's dad? Where are you? I, I, I got a live one here, T. I got the boy. He been bit, Bobby? Nah, I don't think so. He's bleeding, though. I think he's dying. Okay, what's your position? Um, standing. No. Where are you, Bobby? Oh, I'm in the old wing in that little room, you remember? Yeah. Keep him there. I'm coming. Oh, trust me. He's not going anywhere. He's gone! Standing. Get him through the wall, Matrix style. This is you... my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stab me. <laughs> Nearly can red like a juice box. How's it like so please, funny and so can, brutal at the same time? You can help me. No, man. You're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane life. <laughs> oh! Laura! Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! Like, Bobby, pretty cute, you know. Oh, oh, easy. Easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Man. Oh, how bad is it? So sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how you? I mean, I didn't want to say it, but you shouldn't have come with me. You think? <laughs> Laura feels guilty. Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll it'll heal though, right? We'll 
Wait. Maybe it... maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. Like, but would you accept means... this? Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. If you're Ryan in this situation, you're like, bite me, Ryan, right? I don't have much time. You're not even thinking about it. it. Like, it's fighting to get out. You're like, get to nibbling. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris. It's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. Because even if you don't want to be a mine, werewolf, you know that you're about to go and, and kill the guy and heal yourself, right? So you'd just be like, well, maybe for, maybe for a month or two, even if we miss him tonight, we'll get him in a Let you bite me. One. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Also, you get a nibble from Laura, so it's like Pretty win-win. Much. You know? yeah. It's your call. For now. So we doing this or no? Well, okay. So, I mean, I accepted this in my first playthrough. Um, so, this is a bad decision slash reverse, which means we're declining. <sighs> Sorry, Ryan. I just think... I think one of us needs to stay. Mm. But you'll Accepting die. It. You don't care about that. You just want someone to do your dirty work. Oh. Shut uh. up. So it's okay for me, for Max, for your friends to be infected, just not precious Ryan, even if it saves your life. Tell him. You're a fucking asshole. Oh. Yeah. Wow, I really thought if you picked that, he would honestly just bleed out there, but I guess they need him for the next scenes. But I thought that that would totally be a branch where it's like a sort of really heartfelt thing of him being like, I can't do it. And then just slowly passing away on the floor, you know? Like choosing humanity above all else and then just dying. I'm surprised that he's going to carry on here, but... Guess it makes sense. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. I bet these kinds of machines are quite fun to use, though. Honestly surprised that there isn't a little quick time event there that just drops it on my head. Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! sequence honestly uh so this time we go with warm Smash. Oh. 
Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh... Bit, though. Interesting. Wow, they still did it. Yo, I can't believe they both didn't eat it here. I was expecting two deaths. And all of that happened without even... Maybe Dylan can die if the werewolf attacks the him instead, but... There, but... You should have moved out of the way. Where I... was I supposed to go? Whoa, okay. Sorry I saved your life. Jeez. <sighs> So, interesting. So much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. This is what annoys me here is like you have the car now. You were trying to get that car down. And then they then they're just like, "All right. Let's walk back. We walked hours here. Let's just walk." You what? What did you get the car for? Why did you come here? Here we go. It's not too late. I can still bite you. Sorry to disappoint, but the answer is still no. Oh, don't you worry about me. I'll be fine. Nipper, nipper. I'm good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe? I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Dun, dun, dun. You can actually, I didn't even notice it the first time. You can literally see it there, like straight ahead. And it's on some sh pillar with like a skull hanging up there. That looks very, very creepy from here. Wow, blind me in my first playthrough just being like, ah, da, 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 looking around. Ah, what's this? Huh. What's that? I'd be the first to go in a horror Prefer situation, right to be honest. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Walk right into a bear trap. I can't believe I didn't notice that. Anything else? Okay. What was that? I think... I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Gets loose so easy. Later. Ah. Hey. Ah. 
That is utterly rank. Yuck. I think we'll just leave that one there. Damn, dude. Absolute massacre in this room. Aura died. I mean, it's it's the massacre. It's no. It is what it is. You had your chance. You had your chance. The baddest of decisions. You wiped out that wretched family, and you failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. The past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a... What a sad sequence of events. Before. Literally within In your case, five means, seconds, you lose well, Ryan, Travis, and Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can get worse than that. <laughs> Tickle to self. The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. That Ryan death might be the worst death we've seen. It's like judgment. It's so disgusting. Judgment Day is a promise. That's what you'd expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case, it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision tipping the balance, one way or the other. Take your time. Think. And maybe yeah, killed so by Chris not. too. Like actually sad. That's another thing where even when you have Ryan kill Chris, I would have. I feel no like there's a real missed the opportunity art. for like a heartfelt kind would of. Would you like me to show you? Moment with it being David Arquette or something. Like maybe he maybe he shoots him and then like he turns back and it's kind of like, uh, uh, it's okay, buddy. Like he kind of get like there's nothing. It's kind of like very quick. Yes. Good, but I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So She's which is it? Very annoyed with us Choose. at this stage. Death, the sun, or judgment? Um, let's have a look at judgment. That's the one calling to me. One last time, go back. Go back and end this. <sighs> Grandma blowing out candles. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Spitting all over the cake. Up we go. Come on, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Up here. No. Caitlin. Up. 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 There you go. Excuse me. All right. This is awkward. Who's this a picture of? Is this, uh, like Jebediah and Constance here? That little baby Chris? 
Every dust can dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to proud say. To shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? showdown in the house feels kind of uh, until dawn ending -y, doesn't it? Showtime, motherfuckers. There we go. <sighs> Fuck this whole night. Friends. You're nothing. She doesn't want you. Nobody does. Nobody wants you. Jacob Wolf. Gross. I mean, that's kept his shorts on. Actually, that's. Like, I think that's the first time I've seen the clothes still on the werewolf. Kaylin looks awful too. She looking super wolfy. Attack her. Run, wait. I feel like waiting would be the bad decision in this instance. And we also ran last time. No, wait. Did I wait last time? God, I don't even know. Either way, this is a terrible decision. Oops. Dylan! Kelly massacred by boy. Ooh, he really had a munch there, didn't he? he? Really had a munch. He had a munchy munch munch. Uh, do you want to use one of the lives to bring Dylan back? To run through the house? Dylan died. You got two lives left before the end of the game. I didn't use these in the house because I just thought that massacre just felt like the worst possible outcome, so I don't want to override it. But if you want to use a life here, you may. You won't. You won't. One left. Oh, I feel like the hag when I'm in that scene. Ooh, one life. You want to see more? Which I guess means I have to do the opposite. Otherwise, it's just going to be the same thing, right? So. Okay, now run. Stop a werewolf. Ooh, um, I guess reverse would be window. Oh, 
I'm one of you. Leave me alone. Oh, he's actually gonna. <gasps> said forget about it he said Ugh, that's wolf flesh I don't want no wolf flesh did I draw the line at cannibalism disgusting I'm out of here to find a human does he actually just leave does Dylan not have to survive is Dylan gonna live Oh my god, if Dylan's like the last one alive. It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you agree? The cycle continues, for some at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me. But not as much as you could have done. We're bonded now, you and I. And though the full moon will come again, and the curse remains... This night is over. Oh. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Hackett's quarry again. If I see you poking Open your, mouth your nose when you talk, where though. it doesn't belong, I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll be right behind you. She's and talking to you guys, not to me. Always just out of sight. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you die. Haunt you. On my one, she was literally like, said that she is going to do that. So wait, let's see what happened here then. We may actually, with a bad decision playthrough with you using that life, may have a Dylan being the last one survive here. Let's see. I feel like he's the only one. Hmm. Let's see what's occurred. I feel like my first playthrough was pretty good, honestly. Very happy with how it happened. Oh, Max in Oh yeah, we never went back to Max. Max remains infected with the werewolf curse, but he is alive. Emma is dead. Killed by Max. Brian is very, very dead. Killed by the camp leader he once looked up to. Laura is dead. Travis is very dead. Hey, Bobby's alive. Jabba die is alive. Not well, as an occasion. I mean, they just walked off in the middle of the fight, these two. Terrible parents. Literally. Literally just walked off in the middle of that all going on. Oh, oof. Abby. Very, very dead. For a long time. Jacob's a werewolf. Chris. Chris must now face the consequences of his rampage. Nick. We're just the werewolf family now. We can all live in the house happily together. Dylan's alive! Caleb infected. I wonder what the podcast's gonna say about all of this at the end. Honestly, down for like this kind of weird, odd family situation where Dylan's the oh, the white wolf alive. There he is. Slinks back into the safety of the woods, waiting for the full moon to come again. There's like a whole other part to this for anyone who hasn't seen it before. Definitely go check out the full playthrough because I had a much cooler ending. But I love the idea of Dylan like actually smartly organizing. Tragedy. The werewolves and being like, right guys, this is what we need to do, okay? 
thank you so much for watching and for coming on this adventure with me again in the quarry for this bad decision playthrough. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Click one of those on the screen right now, go on another adventure with me, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. Trying to get that 100k, would really appreciate your click and I'll see you next time. Have a beautiful day.